Hey guys, so today I've got the Hero Hero Wonder Airy Fit Sunscreen SPF 50. I think this brand released two sunscreens, a mineral one and a chemical one. This is the chemical one, which I really like. It's got uh, Juvenal T Plot T150, Tinsorb S, which tends to give things a little bit of a white cast, but I'm going to apply it and you'll see that it really uh, is not noticeable at all. And then it's got also a L'Oreal patented sunscreen, Mexoral uh, SX, which is a wonderful sunscreen. So I think in total there are five different sunscreen filters in here. Let me check. One, two, three, four, five. So a nice list and a nice combination of UVB and UVA ray blockers. If you don't know why that's important, UVB rays are the ones that instantly burn you. Well, not instantly. If you're pale like me, you instantly burn, but burn you within like the day or two. And UVA rays, uh, you can't really notice the damage, although they're cumulative and they add up years later. I can testify to that with all my hyperpigmentation, which is getting a lot better, but it's been a long, arduous, expensive, frustrating journey. So if you can prevent that from happening by wearing sunscreen, you're much better off preventing it than trying to deal with it later because it's a pain in the booty, the tush. So Okay, otherwise it's got some uh, nice antioxidants, rice bran oil, vitamin E, niacinamide uh, is in here, ceramide, and then, uh, then the filter. So it has no scent in it, it has no denatured alcohol, which is uh, nice if you have super dry skin. So it's got a really nice pump bottle and super affordable as well, uh, which is nice. And I will link to it at Yes Style. There we go. And the nice thing is I find this sunscreen is really easy to apply liberally because I can apply one layer, let it soak in for a second, and then apply a little bit more and it doesn't pill up. And I'm applying this over uh, the Geek and Gorgeous Sea Glow Serum. Uh, wash my face, apply the Geek and Gorgeous. Gave that a little bit of time to soak in and now I'm applying this. And I actually used this yesterday, this sunscreen yesterday. And I will say, I wasn't out a ton, but at the end of the day, my skin looked great. It didn't feel greasy or dry. Uh, it didn't look like, um, sometimes like sunscreens can really accentuate dry patches or sometimes they end up looking really greasy. And after eight hours of wearing this, I wasn't outside a lot, so I didn't have to reapply it, but it didn't end up looking terrible. It's some sunscreens end up really looking greasy at the end of the day or sometimes they end up really accentuating dry patches and this one did neither and the texture of this stuff is just really nice feels nice on the skin worked well under my sunscreen no pilling or anything like that which was nice so I wasn't out a whole ton yesterday but there we go I'm really trying to focus on my neck lately I used to have, have to use a different sunscreen on my neck, but these days my neck is being a little bit more tolerable. But the fact that this doesn't have fragrance in it, I think, helps. And um, so once you apply it, it doesn't look super greasy. It has kind of a radiant finish, but it does feel uh, light. It's easy to apply a liberal amount, which is also wonderful. So got those filters in there. There's some nice antioxidants in here. Um, the rice bran oil is a good one. Um, in terms of acne prone skin, uh, there's a few ingredients for acne prone skin to be aware of and those are Cetera alcohol which is a fatty alcohol which uh, some people it can cause breakouts for, palmitic acid, steric acid, glycerol sterate, those are all mostly emollients. So a couple of those can be kind of comedogenic so keep that in mind and then carbomer, vitamin E and then uh, mystric acid which is a surfactant or emulsifying ingredient. So to be honest, there's really not a whole lot to be concerned about for acne prone skin, but there's a few. So the fatty acids and alcohols could be an issue, but um, I like seeing the ceramides in here. I love seeing vitamin E, which is wonderful in a sunscreen. Uh, and you know, if you use vitamin C underneath it, vitamin C is really great. If you can use it under your sunscreen, it's even better. Or if your skin doesn't tolerate vitamin C, um, a good antioxidant serum. Um, the Skin Better Alto Defense Repair Serum is great. The Niode 
Um, survival zero is great. So if you need something like that or vitamin C under your sunscreen, it works harder, it works better for you, and is a little bit more efficient. But otherwise, this sunscreen is wonderful. I really enjoy it. I like seeing five different filters. I like seeing the combination of UVB and UVA filters. And I like seeing the L'Oreal patented one. That's nice to see. It's being used in some K-Beauty brands. And the manufacturer of this one is Colmar Korea, which uh, I think they make a lot of isn't tree sunscreens as well. And in my past testing some of the Colmar Korea ones, I've had pretty uh, good luck with them. I haven't really had any issues. And rice bran oil feels really nice. And it's got the nice combination of hydrating ingredients, but it not looking greasy. So in my opinion, it's probably going to be great for drier skin types. Um, but certainly oil your skin types if you set it with a powder or something like that. It works great. So I also think if you're going to be out for more than two or three hours, especially if you're in the sun or sweating or anything like that, reapplying is huge. The texture of this one makes it really nice to apply it in layers. So I, I can't see it would be terrible for reapplying. I'll definitely test that out before my full, total full review of it. But just applying this to make sure I apply it liberally. I know the first layer I tend to apply not enough. So then I go and apply the second layer and it doesn't pill or anything. And it seems to absorb and feels really nice. So, and it doesn't irritate my eyes at all, which my eyes can be kind of sensitive to certain filters, especially some chemical ones. I didn't have any issues with sensitivity or anything with this one. So it is really, really lovely. Uh, let me see if they mention anything about sweat resistance or anything. Very high protection, unscented, non-greasy velvet finish. Doesn't really say anything else about, about it. So anyway, there we go. Okay, well, anyway, very nice product. Uh, interesting from you guys if you have a chance to check this one out yet or if you've tried anything else out from this brand. They have some really lovely products that are worth uh, checking out. So um, anyway, leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye, guys.